Call of Duty is one of gaming's biggest franchises, and many Call of Duty fans still believe that Modern Warfare 2 is the pinnacle of the series. The game experienced some controversy when it came out because of a scene in an airport involving terrorists, but we want to focus in on something a little more spiritual in this episode of Apollo Gaming. In fact, one of the trailers for the game actually picks up on the story of Cain and Abel right out of the book of Genesis and attaches some interesting plot points to it. Take a look. Cain was the first man ever to strike down another. And when the Lord came to him and said, what have you done? Cain could not hide his crime for the voice of his brother's blood cried out from the very ground. Now that's a pretty epic trailer for a pretty epic game. But who in the world is Cain? Actually, the question is, who in the Bible is Cain? Cain was the son of Adam and Eve, infamously tied to his brother Abel because he killed him. Modern Warfare 2 references Cain as the first murderer, picking up on the theme of betrayal which they use in the game. Alright, spoiler alert, okay? So pause the video right now if you haven't played the game or don't want to know what happens. In the game, General Shepard betrays not his brother, but his brothers in arms. Task Force 141, killing two of the team members. The truth? The game is right that this was the first murder. They even get the Lord's words right, though that's not all God said. See, Cain offered a sacrifice to God that God did not accept. The reason is not exactly clear from the passage, but it's possible that it was because of the attitude in which Cain brought his sacrifice. Meanwhile, Abel's sacrifice was from the best of his flock and pleased God. So what was Cain's attitude? Instant anger with God and a jealous plot to kill his brother. He invited Abel out to the field where he killed him. This is where Modern Warfare 2 picks up. Let's hear it straight from Genesis 4, 9 and following. Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? Just listen to that attitude that he takes with God. The Lord said, What have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. At that point, the Lord curses Cain, curses him to wander aimlessly and labor pointlessly. But notice that God does not kill him. He even marks him so that other people won't kill him either. It's a surprising show of God's mercy even to the guilty. And we really see this all around us as God has great patience with sinners, including ourselves, giving us a chance to follow his earlier instruction to Cain that sin desires to have you, but you must master it. God bears with me and you for a time to give us a chance to turn to him. Repent as Cain would not and find grace. In Exodus 34 verses 6 through 7, God tells us that he is the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands, and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. 2 Peter 3.15 tells us why. It says, Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation. Cain might have missed the boat on God's grace, but we don't have to.